welcome back uh, this is the second part of the queues system with log queues and this will be the final recording in this queues uh, in the first part of the video we have discussed all of this like how the push front push back works pop front and pop uh, back works what is meant by bounded queue unbounded queue and uh, these methods, system uh, with like Q methods, them also we have discussed with, uh, with this example. So now in this final recording of this Q session, we will see this uh, shuffle method. Here, if you see the shuffle method, uh, like the methods, this shuffle, it shuffles the items in the queue. For example, here, if you see num underscore q is a num underscore this q is a q because of this dollar. Now, what we are doing is using for loop, we are push back, we are doing the push back activity uh, in the, this uh, q variable. So just a minute. So here, if you see here, push back here, this push back. We discussed uh, here what happens. You know, what is the meaning of push back? If you use this push back, any new element comes that will be uh, going back. Like uh, let's say, I'll take this example. Let's say we have um, seven, eight, nine, and then let's say 12, 14, like that we have. So when we push back, first we are keeping the seven. So it will be like first seven itself. And then when you put, do the pushback, the, the second element will be going to the last, I mean last, in the in that order. It is not happening like uh, since you did the first seven, and then later when you're you know, pushing, yeah, it is not going to take its place. So uh, this is the pushback. And, uh, yeah. So like that, all of the elements in order they will be like because of this pushback, like first zero, then one, then two, until this uh, like i is less than ten till nine. So we are writing inside this num underscore q all of the elements we are writing in this. Now what we are doing here is we are just printing them out. This whatever we have written in the queue, then we are printing them out, and then we are shuffling. If we shuffle, we cannot predict the order in which order they are. So let's copy, go to the idea playground, and uh, paste it here. So this is the same code what we have discussed and we have to ensure that we have selected this uh, tools uh, and similar some to that one one tool must be selected so we are doing with all data rivera pro now what we do we just compile this one so to compile this one Now we can see here, these are in order because of the pushback. Um, but if you see after shuffle, they've been shuffled. The name, like the name, it is doing the job. They've been shuffled in any order. Order is not uh, predicted here. In any order, it can be 
Uh, okay, that's how the function of this uh, shuffle is. The method, this shuffle method associated with the queue. So this is one thing that we have to discuss here. And the other is array of queues. Array of queues means like if you see here declaration, this example, this variable, this array variable is a array and the locations are three. So array and the look how many locations are there? Three. In the, each location is a queue type in that it is like multidimensional array. So here we can assign either this way, like the way it is shown uh, five, six, seven, or in one go also we can do like array and then uh, assign in this way, like tick, this is the tick. And uh, where do we find the stick on our keyboard? Right hand side, there's the shift key, just uh, above the shift key, we have enter and double quote and single quote. The single quote is what is working like a tick, this tick. And we, inside the parenthesis, we are going to keep this Q values. And since Q values are in multiple, they've been kept in, uh, again, like braces. So the syntax is this, like if you want to assign in one go, we have to follow the stick and then open the braces, not uh, parentheses, braces, open the braces. And uh, inside those braces, since it, we are assigning to the Q and Q can take multiple values. So it is like those multiple values being kept in, again, braces separated by a comma. Since three locations are there here because of this array size is three. So three such sets being taken and they are assigned. Three such sets being taken and they are assigned. And you can see here, it is said here that array of zero must be storing even numbers. Array of one will be storing the odd numbers. Array of two will be storing the multiple hundreds. So in that way, we have taken all these are the even numbers and these are the odd numbers and these are the multiples of that 100. So, and then what we're doing here is, this is for printing out. And if you see here, line number 18, we are doing pushback. Pushback method we are using. And where we are, uh, what we are uh, pushing back, 10. It means what already there is a 2, 4, 6, 8 in the array of 0. And there, 2, 4, 6, 8 to, to the last of last element of this array of 0, that is 8. After 8, we, we keep this 10. So that is the pushback. And then here, if you see array of one, we are keeping nine. That is again, after this seven, it will come. In array of two, we are pushing back this 400. It means after 300, this 400 will become. So that is again printed out. So let's see that one. Copy, go to EDA playground and paste this one. And uh, this is, we're going to ensure this is the simulator, and then run. So here we can see this is array of zero. Array of zero is having this one location. Array of zero, inside that we have the queue. So we are assigning to that uh, Q initially, if you see two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight initially. Initially, area of one is, ha is having insert Q and we are assigning one, one, three, five, seven. 
and array of two is also having inside Q and we are assigning 100, 200, 300. After pushback, if you see, uh, array of zero, uh, apart from this two, four, six, eight, ten 10 is seen in the array of zero. In the array of one, apart from this one, three, five, seven, nine is seen because of the pushback. In array of two, apart from this 100, 200, 300, it is seen this 400 because of the pushback. So that's how this is possible. From this example, what is that we are understanding? Uh, array of Qs is also possible. So this is one thing. And uh, here the shuffle. So with this, now we have done with this section that is um, system with lock Qs. Now we can discuss in next video array manipulation methods. So if you have any doubts in this regard that is system like queues, kindly post them in the comment section. Thank you.